Before we start the teacher desk tour, I wanted to tell you, you know, because I've mentioned it like 50 million times on this channel, that I haven't been carrying my handbags. I've been buying 50 million of them, but haven't been carrying them because of COVID. I want to keep them nice and clean. I've only been carrying my plastic bags that I can wipe down easily. So I wanted to say for a couple reasons that I have a lot of bags in my collection. I'm really looking forward to carrying when we can, well, when we can start being more normal again and when I decide it's okay to start carrying my nice bags. And I wanted to show you one of them. It is this Teddy Blake bag. This is called the Bella Croco because it's in the croc embossed leather. And this is the 30 centimeter, which is 12 inch, I believe. This bag is seriously of all the bags that I have purchased since quarantine, definitely in the top few that I am most looking forward to carrying because let me clarify too, just to be clear and honest, I didn't purchase this one. Teddy Blake sent it to me in exchange for doing an unboxing video about it. It is gorgeous. I have a couple of other bags from them and they are all, the quality is just, it's so beautiful. It's, it's really like top tier. The leather is beautiful and soft and I mean, I'm just gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again. They're beautiful, beautiful bags and quality. Here's the base of this one. You know, there are some bags that are leather on the outside and then they're synthetic inside. This is not. This, by the way, has snaps on the ends so you can open it up and expand it. And it's more of a big rectangular boxy bag. Something else I like about it, because you can snap it to make your things inside more secure and to give it a little more of a, to me, like a feminine appearance where it's almost pleated. The look is similar to that. But then when you expand it, you've got more room for all your stuff if you need it. I think this bag is just perfect as a business like a work bag. Anyway, the interior, this has leather trim up here. It says Teddy Blake, made in Italy, because they are made in Italy, which is part of the reason it is so beautiful. But then the lining is suede. You know, it's like the other side of the leather. It's, it's just gorgeous. This has a pocket on that side, and it's the same thing on this side, that pocket there. And of course, you can see they're both zip pockets on the exterior of the bag and then you put all your things inside and the the pockets are also lined in suede just gorgeous design gorgeous craftsmanship they're beautiful you're gonna get sick of me saying that word oh and it has seeing this too it has these d-rings here there's one there and then one on the other side over there that you can attach the shoulder strap to and this is an adjustable strap and it is the same leather as the bag. They also offer the Bella in a few different sizes and they offer uh, different colors of course and they have a, is it a smooth leather or a pebbled leather? I don't remember. So if you're not into the Croco look there are other options and then they have other beautiful bags as well. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I need to start showcasing some of my bags that I haven't been able to use at the beginning of videos so that I can just bring them out and touch them and love on them a little bit. But also one of the reasons that I brought this particular bag out today, besides it being one of the, mo one of the ones that I'm most excited about using again, is Teddy Blake is having a big sale right now. You know, if you're familiar with Teddy Blake, you go to their website and they pretty much always have sales, right? But this one, and I verified this with my contact there, this sale is the Labor Day sale. It's going to have better prices than the usual sales. Today, the day I'm film or the day I'm posting this, which is September 4th, Friday, September 4th. It goes, it starts on the 4th and then it goes through Tuesday, September 8th. So you get five days, right? Four, five, six, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, that's five days that you have to shop the Labor Day sale at Teddy Blake. I will link them below to make it super easy for you to go check out the sale today. Even though I haven't been able to use this yet, I love it so much. I very well might buy one for myself too. Like another color, maybe the smoother pebbled leather, whichever the other one is. I don't know. I don't know. I need to go look at them again. But they told me there will be items that are up to 60% off, some less than that. And then there are some items I think aren't on sale. They're making it sound like it's a really big sale. So if you've been interested in Seti Blake to go check it out and take this opportunity 
to save some money, get some luxury on a budget, hey. And that's it, so, well, it's not quite it. That's it on those two topics. One more thing to talk about before we start this video. This could have been its own video, couldn't it? What I wanna say is the teacher desk video that you're about to see the tour. Um, I'm disappointed in myself and I just wanna let you know that up front because I did it as a, like a vlog style with my little point shoot camera I was hand holding. Boy, when I went back to edit it, there are parts where things aren't in focus. Like I started, I think with a shot on me and I'm not in focus, it's focused on the background. And then there are other parts where it's kind of jumpy. I apologize. I don't think I've done any vlog style stuff since Vlogmas, what, nine months ago, 10 months ago. So I'm very much out of practice and I apologize for that. And of course, oh, that was the other thing. Thank you to those who reach out who noticed that I haven't posted a video in a while. It's because I started back to work last week and I have just been way swamped, like more than I was even expecting I would be. And I just haven't had time. I have all kinds of videos already filmed, but I haven't even had time to edit them. So I finally found time to do this one to get us started and hopefully I'll be able to get back on my schedule with three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Let's get to the teacher YouTube desk tour. Well, I asked in a previous video if anyone would like to see my teacher set up here since I'll be teaching from home virtually for the next couple of months. I know I have a lot of teachers who watch and several people said they would be interested. Hold on one second. Hello, Roxy. Baron. Hello, Baron. It's like Vlogmas. Anyway, several people said that they would be interested, so that's what we're doing today. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today's video is a little different, not about luxury bags or anything like that, not the usual content, but looking at the rearrangement of my little YouTube studio office and adding to that a teacher office. So here we go, let's get started. Hello, Roxy and Baron. I wanna start by just giving you a little sweeping overview of the area here so that you have an idea of what it looks like and what I have. Oh, what is this? A teacher's necessity. Five bottles of champagne. Absolutely. Actually, that's for a video that I'm going to film after this. So this, oops, this little area has nothing to do with teaching really, nor does this back here. Although I am keeping very simple background that I usually have for my videos and I teach photography. I already have this camera here that my sister gave me for Christmas last year. So that works too. I think I'm going to leave everything else. I've thought about maybe taking away the Chanel or the Louis Vuitton. Haven't decided yet. So coming over here and oh, let me show you the furniture too. So this is a bookshelf from Target. I can link that below for you. And I have all my office supplies stored in those boxes. So they're hidden away. And each one of course is labeled with what's in them. I have a nice comfy desk chair and a floor mat, which is an essential for rolling around easily on the carpet. This is actually a light library table and purchased some little bookshelves down there to also store office supplies and planner supplies. Most of that are personal supplies, but I can definitely use some of that for teaching too. Then this on top of the library table is a lot of teaching stuff. I'll show you that stand in a minute. This is my old computer. I bought this one when we started doing the virtual teaching back in March. I needed a new computer anyway, so the old one has been sitting here and I can use it if I need a second computer. In this messy box, I have a ton of sticky notes, my measuring tape for my videos, and my flash drive for work. And of course that's a camera box because that's work related. And then I recently bought a set of bookends from Amazon so that I could stand all this stuff up. I did have my planners sitting here that were more personal, not so much work related, but I've added to that some work related things. So let me show you what I have. This is a personal planner, financial planner. This is a YouTube calendar. This is a bunch of YouTube notes as is this folder. Now this I purchased, it's a five subject notebook, college ruled. You can see it's divided by 
by a little manila pocket. And I'm going to use that to make notes on my virtual photography classes, because this year I should have five photography classes and one yearbook class. So I'll use that for the five photography classes. And I plan to just have that open on my desk and anything that happens that day, I'll just put the date and make whatever notes I need to make so that I can reference that and it's organized. This is last year's yearbook that I'll use for reference for my yearbook class. These I want to show you, whoops, these I want to show you in just a second. This is a notebook with old teacher notes. This is a notebook, well both of these are notebooks. Um, this one I started working in in March. Each day is a different meeting that I've had and it's pretty much full at this point. So I'm going to move to this one soon. This has yearbook notes, that's my coach planner. And this has a bunch of ideas for photography assignments. Let me show you these real quick. I just purchased these on Amazon and they are all teacher planners and they're really cute. They're $8 each, they're eight and a half by 11 and they're academic calendars of different sorts. And I have added these tabs here. Let me show you one today. So they stick on just like that minor metallic and then I wrote the months on them. And here they are in their packaging without the the top part. They're made by Avery. I'll find these and link them below too. I love them. They're very sturdy if you want to add tabs to a notebook like I've done here. So this notebook is July through June, uh, July 2020 through June 21. And for each week it has a monthly calendar page, or for each month it has a monthly calendar page. And then it has horizontal days like this. So you have lines to make notes, and then like to-do list or checklist there. And there's also a line here to write whatever's going on that week or whatever. This one I plan to use as an overall planner to-do list calendar. This one and I've written on the spine so I know what each is for. This will be for weekly lessons. Let me show you how this one looks inside. I added the tabs to all of these to help keep track. So this has an overview of the year for important dates. It has the month again. I probably won't be using the months because I'll show you something else. And then this is what the weeks look like. So you have boxes here for different subjects and then you have the days. So this will be my overall lesson planning calendar for each week. So I'll have photo class one, two, three, whatever, my advanced photo class, my yearbook class, and what we're doing each day in each of those classes. Now these two blue ones are exactly the same layout as the one I just showed you. They have the yearly important dates, the month at a glance, and they have the same weekly calendar. But for this, I have two of these because I have, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these subject boxes. And I usually have about 14 yearbook students. So I'm gonna use these for yearbook. Each box here will be a different yearbook student and each day will be their assignments for those days because in yearbook each kid has a different assignment every day because they're covering different things. Like one person might be covering orchestra, one person might be covering math, another might be doing swim team, so I need to keep that organized. Now on the wall right above those planners I have two desk calendars. The top one, and I got both of these on Amazon too, the top one I'll use as a general calendar. I'm writing down webinars and trainings and meetings and whatever else I need to remember that I have coming up. The bottom calendar is strictly for yearbook. Yearbook is going to be very different this year. The way we cover things, I'm going to have a lot more to keep track of. So I got this calendar to be just dedicated yearbook, everything yearbook. I also bought this gigantic whiteboard and I will list that below. I divided it into sections with washi tape. I have photography classes, advanced photography, yearbook, general teaching stuff, YouTube stuff, and personal stuff on this giant whiteboard right by my desk and got my eraser and marker there and now we are on to the desk itself. The very best thing about teaching from home is having the puppers right next to me. There's Bear and there's Roxy again. Hello Roxy. All right I'm going to show you something with my computer in a minute but first let's look at my desk setup. So prior to virtual teaching I had all this stuff but I didn't have this stand or this stand. I just purchased those 
to add a little more organization to the desk. So I did have this stand and I got all three on Amazon. I can link those below too. It's nice to have a stand because the monitor is more elevated. It's more at eye level, but also you have storage space underneath the stand. So over here, I'm able to have some sticky notes, some pens in storage cases, my ruler out. I'm able to, this is actually a jewelry box that I got at TJ Maxx a while back. I'm able to hide away some of the markers and scissors and things that aren't as pretty sitting out on the desk. And then that way I can keep in my pen cup the pretty things, the metallic gold and silver and black. Then over here, I have a CD drive that I almost never use, but I keep it out anyway, a speaker set, and of course this beautiful painting that Yota gave me for I think it was for Christmas this past year. Coaster to hold my drink, extra pair of glasses, and then underneath I have some storage space. So this is where I keep my extra Expo markers for my whiteboard. And here I keep a few little office supplies that I need often. So there's my knife that you've seen me looking for a few times, some hand sanitizer, some matches for candles, my eyeglass cleaner, a couple magnets, and some whiteout. And then in here are some electronic bits like card readers and extra cables. I also have this notepad out. I recently purchased this desk mat, which is really nice. It's thin and it stays in place. So my desk is actually, let me back up some. My desk is actually not a desk, it's a table that I got from maybe Overstock something under a hundred dollars. When we moved to this apartment, I didn't have a desk anymore. And when I was looking at real desks, they were many hundreds of dollars and it was a lot more than I wanted to pay. And I wanted something open. I didn't want a lot of drawers. So I got this table, but it was a little too short for me. So I added to it this, this tabletop here, which is just a flat piece of wood. And you can see there's the actual table underneath and there is Hello, Roxy. Do you need something? I don't have any Vlogmas cookies yet. <gasps> Cookie? Oh my God. I don't have any. Stop whacking your brother in the face with your tail. That's rude. All right, so you can see the table here and then this is just a piece of board, a tabletop that I have just have sitting on top of it. It's not attached other than by gravity. And that I got at Ikea and it was, I wanna say it was like $15 or $20, something ridiculously cheap. And then I happen to have an aunt who works at a glass company, so she was able to get a piece of glass custom made for me or custom cut there. But what I found with my lamp here, when I turn that on, you can see that there's a glare in the glass. And when I would sit at my desk, I would get this big glare here that was really annoying. So I got the desk mat to prevent that, but I've also found it really helpful. I don't know, it just feels nice. It's nice to write on. I've really enjoyed it. I also have my Vuitton Agenda GM sitting out here with a bunch of my notes. That's my like personal and YouTube to-do list. And then my desk agenda and phone are always right next to me also. I haven't figured out the lights yet. This is my YouTube lighting setup. I have all three of these here. This is why I'm always blinded when I'm filming. My camera's right here for YouTube. These things are in my face, but they work there. And I can't be blinded while I'm teaching, so I may just have this side light on. This one is mostly lighting up the background, so that might work. And in the mornings, I get good light from the windows here, but in the afternoons, it gets to be too much. So the one last thing I wanted to show you has to do with my computer and this. I just got this today. Let me set it up and then I'll show you. All right, so here it is. There's a stand down here and it holds my laptop up. So normally my laptop, excuse my messy background, and this is all stuff I need to file away and this is stuff that I'm currently using. So I have the camera up here and normally if it's sitting on the desk, the camera has to be angled up. So you end up seeing me like this. You see a lot of team Zoom meetings, where you see people's ceilings, right? And their faces, and the camera's pointing up. I don't want that. I wanted the camera to be like this, like you see in YouTube. So that's why I got the stand. So now when I'm sitting in my chair, I'm holding the camera that I'm filming on at eye level, and that camera's also at eye level. Also, the camera's right there, and I have this little thing that I bought that covers the camera. So when you don't wanna have it on and you're not 100% sure that your camera's not off or not on, you can just turn this little thing and hide the camera and then you are sure that it is off. Hello, Roxy. She jumped in my chair with me. Do you need something? 
And then a benefit I found to this, I wasn't sure about it. It seems like this would be an awkward angle to type, but it's actually very, very comfortable and it keeps my posture up. So I'm not leaning over like this to type or if I'm watching something, I don't get bored and, and lean over like this, which is bad for my back. If I'm sitting here and I'm typing, which I'll be doing a lot of, I'm sure, it keeps my back straight and my shoulders back and that's a big plus. Also, that gives me storage space here so I could have my notebook here and the writing. So basically the footprint of your laptop is off your desk now and you have all this space well, you get your desktop back. You have all this space to be able to work. Well, that is my teacher setup. I hope that that was helpful and not too detailed, like in an annoying way. I hope it was detailed in a helpful way. And for the next many YouTube videos, you're gonna be seeing a bunch of extra junk over here. So thank you so much for watching. Best wishes to you with teaching this year. Oh my God. It's going to be a different year, very exciting year. I'm really looking forward to it. I think my classes are pretty easy to teach online because it's already digital photography. We're already working digitally a lot, and even when we're in the classroom, I think mine's gonna work out well, but some other classes I think about, I don't know how you guys are gonna do them, but you will figure it out because that's what we teachers do, isn't it? So again, thank you for watching. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope you have a fantastic semester and year, and I hope to see you back here next time for some more handbag videos. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye, Roxy. See you later.